resolution of item two of the agenda. Members of the council have before them the security situation in Darfur remains volatile. Since the beginning of the year, fighting between the government of Sudan, GOS, and non-signatory movements on the one hand, and on the other, inter- and intra-ethnic clashes have led not only to loss of life, but also to a situation of protracted displacement socio-economic dislocation and loss of property for the civilian populations caught in the crossfire. Inter-ethnic violence has actually brought about more death, injury and displacement than the fighting between the government and non-signatories in 2013. UNAMID has continued to strongly encourage all parties to these inter-ethnic conflicts and relevant civil society actors to enter into dialogue with a view to addressing the root causes of the clashes and developing a common vision for their resolution. I wish to draw the attention of council members. 2013, if I may repeat, marks 10 years since the outbreak of the Darfur conflict. While considerable progress was made throughout the years, to bring down the initially great casualty numbers and craft a peace process, much more remains to be done. The parties to the conflict who have courageously embraced the path of peaceful settlement must be encouraged, supported, and protected. The stated intention of the government of Sudan to engage in an all-inclusive political dialogue with all non-signatory groups, without exception, is commendable and it needs to be encouraged to propose a concrete framework to deliver on this undertaking. 